Hello, you are watching Engineering Made Easy and this is Lalit Vasist. Friends, this is a lecture about uh, the generation of BPSK signal. BPSK means Binary Phase Shift Keying. Here we will learn how we can produce the binary phase shift keying signal with the help of block diagram. But it is necessary to understand what is phase shift keying and what is binary phase shift keying before uh, getting the concept of generation of BBSK signal. So let's see it first. So what is phase shift keying? In phase shift keying, the phase of the carrier wave is switched as per the input signal and it is analogous to phase modulation. As we know in case of a phase modulation, the phase of the carrier wave is changed according to the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. In the same manner, here we use the input signal as digital thus input signal is the modulating input signal is digital here while in case of continuous uh, analog kind of phase modulation it is of analog nature so in both of these uh, analog uh, modulation techniques and digital modulation techniques our carrier wave is sinusoidal but the difference is only of uh, this input modulating signal modulating signal in case of digital modulation techniques it is uh, digital while in case of continuous wave analog modulation techniques it is analog form it is of analog form so what happens here see uh, here in phase modulation uh, this is the digital input signal in form of binary inputs uh, 011001 and this is the continuous sinusoidal analog form of carrier uh, wave having constant amplitude and constant frequency now uh, observe it that it changes the phase only when there is a change in the binary symbol it means that whenever the binary symbol changes either from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 okay so there is a change at these places here it is 0 to 1 and here it is changing from 1 to 0 and again uh, here it is changing from 0 to 1 but there is no change at these points 0 to 0 and 1 to 1 so only when there is some change in the binary symbol then the phase of the carrier wave will uh, see a shift of pi that is 180 degrees so let's see here here it is changing from 0 to 1 so you will see a phase shift of pi okay 180 degrees at this place since there is no change from 1 to 1 so it is passed as it is okay from here to here but again at this point from 1 to 0 there is a phase shift again of pi okay and this phase shift is again seen at uh, at this point when it uh, changes from 0 to 1 you can see it okay this is not the uh, original path this has changed so this is a phase shift of 180 degrees that is pi so this is uh, the PSK phase shift keying modulation technique digital kind of modulation technique and uh, here you can see that the information of the modulating signal lies in the phase changes of the carrier wave okay so now um, as this uh, as we are um, going to study the block diagram of generation of uh, phase shift keying but to understand each block of this block diagram uh, let me show you some uh, mathematical part so that you it becomes easy for you to get the concept in short although we have discussed it uh, in earlier uh, uh, videos this uh, equation part and the mathematical analysis of BPSK binary phase shift keying uh, actually what is BPSK uh, BPSK is B stands for binary so it is binary phase shift keying actually uh, since we have only two symbols one and zero that is the binary forms in the digital input signal that's why it is known as binary phase shift keying okay so if this is the carrier wave a cos uh, 2 pi f c t this is denoted uh, this is the equation for the carrier wave a is the maximum amplitude uh, f c is the frequency of the carrier wave and t is time since we know that uh, power is given as v r m s square divided by r here we are calculating this uh, dissipated power for a standard one ohm load resistor so at the place of r we will use one okay we are taking one ohm load resistor here so power v is equals to vrms square divided by r and we know that vrms is nothing but v max by root 2 okay so v max by root 2 whole square divided by r and what is v max v max is the maximum amplitude so a is uh, here our v max so replace it by a so a by root 2 whole square divided by r r we are taking one ohm standard load resistor so it is it, it simplifies to a square by 2 
so a square by 2 is power dissipated so from this we can get a is equals to under root 2p so in the equation uh, we will replace this amplitude a maximum amplitude by under root 2p power p is the dissipated power power dissipated okay so now we will uh, see the mathematical derivation how we can derive the equation of bpsk binary phase shift king since we know that uh, the phase of the carrier is changed by pi or 180 degrees whenever there is a change in the binary symbol from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 0 in both of these cases either from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 there will be a phase shift or phase change of pi therefore for example in this case let's suppose that our input uh, digital binary input is changing from 1 to 0 okay it is changing from 1 to 0 so we will see a phase shift of pi then if the symbol 1 uh, then for 1 if we have it is changing from 1 to 0 then uh, suppose for 1 we have the carrier wave s1t as under root 2p instead of a we have written uh, under root 2p as we have derived earlier under root 2p cos 2 pi fct so this is for symbol 1 and again and for uh, 0 symbol as we know uh, there is a phase shift of pi so we will uh, incorporate we will show this phase shift of pi in the next equation s2t the carrier wave for the 0 symbol so under root 2p at the place of a under root 2p cos 2 pi fct plus pi so you can see here that this is a phase shift of pi okay we are changing it by f uh, pi okay 180 degrees and we also know that this is cos uh, theta and this is cos uh, pi plus theta and we also understand it that uh, cos pi plus theta is nothing but minus of cos theta so at this place cos of uh, 2 pi f c t plus pi we can write minus of uh, under root 2 p cos 2 pi f c t so just focus uh, on equation number one and equation number three this equation number one is for binary symbol one and this is when it changes from 1 to 0 a phase shift of pi is uh, observed so this is the equation corresponding to 0 in case of p escape has uh, equations 1 and 3 have no difference instead of this uh, minus sign under root 2p cos 2 pi fct is same in both of these but the difference is only of a plus 1 and minus 1 so we can combine these two equations in one equation Okay. This is the same part under root 2p cos 2 pi fct but the difference is only of plus and minus so we uh, we have used here bt binary symbol to represent this uh, plus 1 and minus 1 as we have uh, discussed it that plus 1 for transmitting 1 and when bt is minus 1 then uh, it is for 0 binary symbol okay now to understand the concept of uh, binary phase shift king's generation with the help of block diagram we will need we will need to produce this bt signal so we will produce this bt signal first okay so let's see how it takes place here we have produced the bt signal from this binary sequence uh, this is the binary sequence 100110 for example uh, we have taken this binary symbol uh, this binary digital input and uh, you can see that uh, for 1 it is uh, 1 and for 0 it is there is no transmission okay so this is 1 for 1 and for 0 0 it is continuously 0 <coughs> and again for 1 1 it is 1 okay it is not returning to 0 it is nrz form and again for 0 for 0 0 for 0 okay and uh, we have uh, understood that uh, and we have already seen it that uh, bt is uh, having values uh, plus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 for transmitting uh, 1 and minus 1 for transmitting 0 so to produce this bt signal uh, you can see that uh, if it is uh, transmitting 1 then it is 1 and for 0 corresponding to 0 this bt signal is minus 1 we have seen it earlier see here again that bt is plus 1 for when we transmit binary 1 and minus 1 when binary 0 is to be transmitted this is the input binary sequence and this is what this is the corresponding nrz bipolar signal why it is uh, nrz nrz stands for non returning to 0 non returning to 0 means it is not returning to 0 if it is uh, 0 0 for uh, two uh, successive um, binary symbols then it is not returning to 
again at the x axis uh, again to the time axis it is continuously having value minus 1 in the same way when it is 1 1 successively okay when we have one after another one then it is continuously having a constant value of one okay so it is not returning to zero so now we have produced the bt signal now we will see the generation of bpsk signal with the help of this block diagram as you can see here we have uh, two blocks here this is a bipolar nrz level encoder and this is the a balanced modulator a balanced modulator and here we have produced this bpsk signal now let's see how it works here at the input of this bipolar NRZ level encoder, we have uh, applied the input as binary data sequence. We know we produce the binary data sequence, okay, this uh, format 100110, uh, for example, uh, in our previous example. And this binary, this bipolar, why it is called as bipolar? Because uh, uh, this BT signal has uh, plus 1 and minus 1 both poles two poles plus one and minus one it has two poles that's why it is known as bipolar okay it is not zero for zero it is minus one so plus and minus one two poles are there so it's called as bipolar and nrz stands for non returning to zero as it was not returning to zero it was continuously having values uh, at constant values for successive uh, same uh, uh, binary symbols so it converts this what uh, it do what does it do this encoder this converts this binary data sequence into the bt signal okay having plus one and minus one bipolar nrz okay so at the output of this we have this and we apply this bt signal to this balanced modulator we do not apply the carrier wave uh, and uh, the binary data sequence directly to the balanced modulator instead of this we produce a BT signal from this uh, digital uh, input uh, stream of uh, moderating signal and convert it to BT and then we apply at the two inputs of uh, balanced modulator this at the first uh, input of this balanced modulator we apply this BT and at the second input we apply this carrier signal okay and at the output we get the BPSK signal so the output of this uh, balanced modulator is BPSK signal. The equation of this BPSK signal we have already seen here. This has been shown here. This is the final BPSK signals equation. ST equals to BT under root 2P cos 2 pi FCT. Okay. Here P is what? P is the dissipated power. So this is the uh, way how we will uh, replace this uh, a by under root 2p in the equation of a cos 2 pi fct and uh, as we have used a product modulator this will multiply the bt signal to this uh, a cos 2 pi fct fct so in the output of bpsk signal we get the final waveform as uh, bt under root 2p cos 2 pi fct this is the final equation of bpsk hope you uh, understand uh, the concept of a binary phase shift key so this was all about the block diagram and the generation of uh, bpsk signal for more videos uh, you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy in the more uh, in the next videos we will discuss uh, more such concepts of uh, uh, other uh, digital modulation techniques so keep watching engineering made easy thanks for watching have a nice day friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye